this is an example of the interference at Mike's house. And I might go ahead and switch antenna direction. Okay, so now which way you're pointing now? Southeast. Okay, so that's southeast, and then go back to the northwest. And that's to the northwest, and that's... Okay, here's a RFI at Mike, W9E, RE's QTH on 10 meters. You'll note um, these brighter and dark bands, uh, somewhat repeating up the band. So it's not a constant, you know, brightness across the screen. That's the R spectrum. And then down in the audio spectrum, you'll see we've got some uh, very distinct repeating uh, signals in the audio spectrum. Uh, but they're at 140 hertz intervals, 140 hertz. Not uh, the typical 120 hertz uh, repeating pattern that we'd see from power line noise and other uh, uh, devices. And I'll uh, switch to where we're tuned here and you'll see the audio spectrum change slightly. Yeah, now you can see uh, very distinct up here uh, around uh, 1690. But if you do the math, everything we see is uh, exact uh, intervals of 140 hertz. So I was, I was confident this was not power line noise uh, based on the brightness changes in the R spectrum and also based on uh, our repeating uh, signals in the audio spectrum at 140 uh, hertz intervals instead of 120 hertz. house and sure enough when we flip that breaker off his interference on 10 meters to the northwest disappears so now we're going to go track that down see what's coming from but it's, it's labeled uh fridge and nook so that's up in the kitchen probably okay you can turn it on